Lord in heaven, oh blessed Savior. We come to you today, oh God, lifting up your name, giving you praise and honors, Father. We enjoy your presence, Father God. We ask you and invite you in to our hearts today, to our lives, to our service, oh God. We exalt you, we magnify you, and we know that you are the Holy One, Father. We thank you. We thank you for the Trinity, Father, for God that is in control of everything, that, that is over everything, for Jesus that, that died on the cross for us. He's our Savior. And for the Holy Ghost that lives within us. We thank you, Lord, that you continue to look after us, oh God, that you continue to guide us, Father. I ask you to touch each and every one on, at this service today, Father God. Blow your presence upon them. Blow your healing power upon them, O oh God. As we lift you up today, O oh God, we thank you for what you're doing. Well, thank you for joining us today. I know the Lord is happy to see you, and we are happy to see you. And now I pass it over to uh, Crystal for the announcements. Good morning, good morning, and good morning. I um, want to first off take this time to welcome any first time visitors. If this is your first time visiting us today or your first time visiting us in a while, um, our prayer is that you feel welcome and that the uh, presence of the Lord just saturated you in your home or workplace or car, wherever you may be visiting us from um, on this morning. So here at Bethel Worship Center, we have a saying, once you come once, you are officially part of the Bethel Worship Center family. So welcome to the Bethel Worship Center family. We encourage you to join us weekly. Ways to give, we have tithes and offering, as well as we have um, Shop Amazon Smile. For Amazon Smile, just make sure you're on the Amazon Smile website. Um, you select Bethel Worship Center International as your charity of choice. You do not have to do anything extra other than make sure that the item that you're shopping for is eligible for give back. And then Amazon donate a percentage of your purchase to Bethel Worship Center International. We have children, kids church, virtual children's church. It is Monday nights at 7.30 p.m. via Zoom. We have praise and worship games, lessons, and much, much more. Join us and bring a friend. You can see our website, social media, or Zoom information uh, for more details. Prayer is Monday through Friday at noon. This is via Zoom as well, but it is a call-in Zoom. So you can locate the phone number in our access code or again on our social media platforms as well as on our website. We do encourage you to um, meet us, um, join us, sorry, every day, Monday through Friday at noon. Food Pantry is open on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., rain or shine. If you have any questions, please contact us. There is no restrictions, no registration. You do not have to live in the Portsmouth area to be able to receive the blessing of the food pantry. If there is a need, we are there to help you with that food. Men's group meet this Tuesday, June the 15th at 7 p.m. It is via Zoom. If you do not have time to write that down, you could just visit our website and social media platforms for details on that. Our Daniel Fast, we do ask that you join us Wednesdays for our weekly Daniel Fast. This is 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., consuming fruits and vegetables only. As we do this Daniel Fast, our prayer focus is COVID-19, COVID-19 the vaccines, the death, the complications, finances, and much more associated with that. We're also lifting up our leaders in the church, the workplace, the governments, and on all levels. Um, our youth, we're lifting them up. And anything additional God lays on your heart, um, we want you to lift up during this time, of course. Corporate prayer is Thursdays at 6.30 a.m. Come and pray with us. Um, whether you want to pray or you just want to stand in agreement with us, we do invite you again. That is 6.30. It is a call-in Zoom number. The phone number access code can be found on our website and social media platforms. We are preparing to go back into the building. We want to make sure that the house is prepared for when everyone come back. So on June the 19th at 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., 
Um, we will be preparing the Children's Church Modular. Um, we need all hands available. This is just not for the Children's Church Ministry. If you would like to help, regardless if you're a part of any ministry or if you just want to come out to sow a seed and have help in hand, we do ask that you come out. Please sign up with Monica um, Pringle or you can contact the church directly. We wanna make sure we know everyone that's gonna be present so that we can assign a certain area um, to you, to make sure that all needs are met. Communion will be next Sunday, that is June the 20th. Um, you can come by the church on Tuesdays and Thursdays from five to six if you wanna pick up your communion elements, um, or if you have you know, them at home, that is suffice as well. Again, communion will be next Sunday, which is June the 20th. And if you want to get your elements from the church, you can do so on Tuesdays and Thursdays during the food pantry hours of five to six. The worship team, we're looking for volunteers for that, musicians, singers, soundboard helpers, etc. Please contact Erica Thompson um, at the email address or phone number that is listed here on the slide. If you do not have time to write that down, it's okay. It will be on the website and our social media platforms. Also, um, the first person service is on July the 11th. So please mark your calendar for that. Again, that is Sunday, July the 11th would be our first in-person service. And I am so, so, so excited to be just um, united with everyone again. So please mark your calendars and um, try to attend if um, so. If you have any questions, if you need to review our sermon, we do ask that you contact us. Um, you can review our announcements on the um, website as well as on social media. Um, if you just need someone to talk, if you have any needs at all, do not hesitate to reach out to us. If it's not something that Bethel Worship Center can assist you with, we would definitely make sure that we direct you to the resources that is needed. This does include our announcements um, for today. At this time, I will turn it over for a word of offering. Good morning. So today, I just wanted to talk real briefly. In 2 Corinthians 9, 7, it says, each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And for a long time, I really didn't understand exactly what being a cheerful giver meant. And basically what it means is be excited about giving, be just as excited about giving as you would be about receiving a blessing because in God's kingdom, when you give, you open the door for the blessing. So it's giving with excitement. It's giving in such a way that you are excited to give because you want to see what God is able to do with the gift that you give. Because after all, the jobs that we have, the houses that we have, those are all things that God has blessed us with. So the more we use his blessings to bless other people, the more he blesses us with. So just be cheerful and be mindful of that. So I want to talk real briefly about the different ways that we have to give right now. Um, we have Cash App at Cash Tag BWCCI. You can give through Venmo at BWCCI. You can mail it into 3697 Pepperwood Court, Portsmouth, Virginia, 23703. You can stop by the office by appointment and drop off a check, or you can go to our website at www.bethel-worship.org and click on the giving link. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you, Father God, for all that you do in our lives. And we just ask you, Lord Jesus, to bless the gift and bless the giver this morning as we give of our tithes and offerings. Use these finances to expand your kingdom. We ask you, Father God, to just be with us for the rest of the service and have your way. In Jesus' name, amen.
I am so excited to be with you all this morning. Um, we are just excited, um, just excited. I don't know how much more I can say. Um, I just want to say that uh, please keep pastor in prayer. Uh, as some of you all have heard, he is on travel right now with the basketball team. They went up to Liberty University to play in a uh, three-day tournament, and they may be playing right now as we speak. Um, and depending on how they do in this first game, will determine if they make it to the actual championship or if they are done for the day. So just keep them in prayer um, in their travels uh, and as they are making their way back here. So uh, today is the day that the Lord has made. We are excited about this day. He's given us another day to worship him. He's given us another day to come together. He's given us another day to, to, to just... Um, hear about who he is and to kind of get that restart that some of us may, may need. So um, I've hope, I hope you've had a great weekend. Um, I have had a very interesting weekend. There's been a lot that has been going on, a lot that we've been hearing about, um, but God is still in control, amen. God is still God no matter what and in spite of everything that we've been hearing. So last week, last week, um, Pastor started a series called Radical God. And he began to talk about how awesome God was and is and um, preserving us and hiding us. And I want to start there with that scripture in Psalms chapter 16. And simultaneously, please turn over to Psalms chapter 42. So Psalms chapter 16, he uh, pastor started an awesome message on an awesome God last week. And um, I was over here shouting and raising my hands, dancing. It was, oh my goodness, such a good, good word. So we are going to start there um, in Psalms chapter 16. We're going to read that. And then we're going to uh, go right on over to Psalms chapter 42. I'm just going to read a couple of scriptures and then we're going to continue on. So uh, Psalms chapter 16 reads, Preserve me, O oh God, for in you I put my trust. O oh, my soul, you have said to the Lord, you are my God. My goodness um, is nothing apart from you. Let's turn over to Psalms chapter 42. And we're going to just read the one verse. And that's verse number 11. Psalms 42 verse number 11 says, Why are you cast down? Oh, my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, the help of my countenance and my God. Let's pray. Lord God, I just pray right now, Father God, as we continue throughout this day and as we continue throughout this time, Lord God, that you would be glorified. I pray, Father God, that you would be the mouthpiece, oh God. I pray, Lord God, that as I decrease, Lord, in this place, that you would increase, God, not just in where I'm standing, Father God, but also throughout the airways, Lord God, also on Zoom and, and on Facebook. Facebook and YouTube, Lord God. I pray thou, God, that as you speak, Father God, that we all would be encouraged, Lord God. Open our ears to hear what you are saying. God, open our hearts to receive from you, Father God, and let us see things as you see them, Father God. I pray, God, for your anointing to come. I pray, Father God, that I don't speak anything of my own opinion, but I only speak what you have spoken, Lord God. Oh, God, incline my ear to hear only from you at this time. I pray now, Father God, that you be glorified and that you be lifted up. And I pray, Lord God, that you have your way. Not my will, Father God, but your will be done. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, glory to the King. Amen, amen, and amen, hallelujah. Well, I want to talk to you today 
along the same lines that pastor preached about last Sunday. Last Sunday, he said, a radical God, an awesome God. And this Sunday, I want to talk to you about a radical God who deserves radical praise. Hallelujah. Glory to the King of Kings. When we talk about radical praise, there's like three there's more than three, but three of them I want to kind of touch on today. When we're going through the toughest times, when it just kind of hits you all of a sudden, and when you're having the highest moments in your life, a radical praise. Radical praise seems to come from the belly. It seems to come from the depths of who we are. It seems to come when there's stuff that's going on in our lives. Like yesterday, I, I just kept hearing things that were going on, uh, just people getting uh, killed, people dying, people having bad reports. And in those times, it's when that radical praise begins to come from the depths of our belly and we begin to praise God for who he is. There has been so much that people, we all have been dealing with over this time, whether we're dealing with issues from COVID, whether we're dealing with issues in our family, maybe we heard a bad report from the doctor, maybe we heard something about, uh, we've heard mental illness going on, cancers happening, all types of things that are, that are happening right now in our lives. And it's during those times that we've got to have that radical praise, that we've got to pull things from, from somewhere that we are able to praise God through it. When you are sitting in the middle of the night wondering about where your kids are, when you're wondering what's happening with your spouse, when you're thinking about your grandchildren or you're just, um, just mulling over what's going on your job, those are the times when we've got to have that radical praise. When we're looking in Psalms 42, he said, in Psalms 42, he said, yet, I praise him. We've got to have that yet praise. In the middle of the situation, in the middle of the storm, in the middle of not knowing what to do, we've got to have that yet praise. We've got to say, although all of this stuff is going on, yet will I praise him. Yet will I trust him. Yet will I seek him. Yet will I call on him. I will call on the name of the Lord, for he is my strong tower. I will call on on the name of the Lord, because he is my strength. It's when we're going through the toughest times in our lives, we've got to have that radical praise. It's when we're going through the times where we're, drought is happening in our lives. Drought is things that are going on and it's dry. There's nothing that's happening. You have had the life sucked out of you. You have nothing. You may feel empty. That's when you could potentially be going through a drought. But it's in those times that we pull out the word of the Lord and we go to Psalms 42 and we begin to sing and speak uh, Psalms 40 to one and two, Psalms 42, one and two, as the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs for you, God. My soul longs for God, for the living God. Or maybe we'll turn over to Psalm 63 and we'll read, oh God, you are my God. Earnestly, I will seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you. My whole body yearns for you in a dry and a thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary and to see your power and your glory because your loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise you. There's that yet praise. There's that yet radical praise. Thus, I bless the Lord. I bless you while I live. I lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as the marrow and fatness and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate 
on you in the watches of the night because you have been my help. Therefore, in the shadow of your wings, I will rejoice and my soul follows close behind you and your right hand, it upholds me. So when you have that time of drought, you've got to get that radical praise. You've got to get that yet praise when you're dry and thirsty, when you need water from the Lord. Oh, you've got to get that yet praise, that radical praise. Or maybe you're not in a dry place. Maybe you haven't gone through a dry moment or you've gotten past all of that and you feel like the weight of the world is drowning you. You've been drowning by, and, and trying to keep your head above water. You you have just, you feel like you can't hold on to anything. It seems like stuff is just going on around you and you can't swim. You can't hold on. You don't have anything to hold on to. That's when you can turn to Psalms 40 and you can begin to, uh, to read, I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He also brought me out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and he set my feet upon a rock, hallelujah, and he established my steps and he put a new song in my mouth. There is that yet praise. There's that radical praise that he put a new song in my mouth. Praise to our God. Many will see it and fear and will trust the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust and does not respect the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, Oh Lord, my God, are your wa are your wonderful works which you have done, and your thoughts towards us cannot be recounted to you in order. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. And so when we're going through so many things, when we feel like we're drowning, when it seems like everything, the waves are crashing all around us, then we can have that yet praise. We can go to the word and we can begin to declare, I've got a yet praise, no matter what may be going on, even though my soul is disquieted in me, I have a yet praise. I have a radical praise. I will praise the name of the Lord because he is great. He is mighty. And I will praise the name of the Lord. I will praise him and I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise will continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. When you feel weighed down, maybe then you can go to Psalms 103. You can read Psalms chapter 103, and it says, just as I began to say, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and I'll forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. See, when you're weighed down because of all of the sin that may be going on in your life or sin that you may be seeing that's going on all around you, or you have sickness in your body and you feel weighed down, oh, this word says, he, does, he heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Hallelujah. The word says that his mercies are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness, who satisfies your mouth with good things good things, not bad things. The Bible tells us that who is a father that will give his children a stone when he asks for bread? Here it says that he will satisfy your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. So those, those of us who may feel like we are 
just weighed down or we uh, we were too old or we can't do it any longer. No, here he says that your youth will be renewed. Hallelujah. The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. So if you feel oppressed, if you feel weighed down, if you feel like things are happening and you can't do anything about it, know that you can bless the Lord, that you can have that yet praise, that you can have that radical praise hallelujah oh and he goes on to say that he made known his ways to moses his acts to the children of israel his acts to even you the lord is merciful and gracious he's slow to anger and abounding in mercy he will not always strive with us nor will he keep his anger forever he has not dealt with us according to our sins nor punished us according to our iniquities for as the heavens are high above the earth so great is his mercy towards those who fear him as for as far as the east is from the west so far has he removed our transgressions from us that means that uh, our sins he will remember no more they're gone as far as the east could touch the west and they can't so that means that he cannot he will not remember our sins as a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. For he knows our frame because he made us. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes over it and it's gone and it placed in its place remembered it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to the children's children to such as to keep his covenant, to those who remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has established his throne in the heaven and his kingdoms rule over all. Bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, exceeding the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you hosts, you ministers of him who do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. We have to have that yet praise. We have to get that radical praise when we're feeling overwhelmed, even in this scripture. Mind you, I'm gonna be reading a lot of scripture because it's the scripture that sets free. It's the scripture that heals. It's the scripture that delivers. It's the scripture that breaks bondages. It's, it's the scripture that tears down walls. And when we're going through things, yes, we need to worship. Yes, we need to praise. Yes, we need to pray. When we get into the word, the word is praise and praise is the word. The word is worship and worship is the word. Hallelujah. So we get into the word. So when we're going through a drought, yes, we get into the word. When we're going through and drowning in, in sorrow and sorrow, and all of these things going on in our lives, we get into the word. When we're overwhelmed and we feel weighed down, we get into the word and we begin to allow the word to bubble up within us. And we begin to say, bless the Lord, oh my soul and all that is within me, bless his holy and his righteous name. And when you may feel like everything and everyone is against you. That's when we're gonna turn and we're gonna look at Psalms chapter 27. And we're gonna read what it says. It says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and my foes, they stumbled and they fell. You don't have to worry about who's against you and who's for you and who's with you and who's not. You don't have to worry about who your haters are because the word says that the Lord is my light and my salvation. It says here in verse three, though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Hallelujah. Though a war may arise against me in this, 
I will be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord and that will I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord and all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, the Lord himself shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle. He shall hide me and he shall set me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. So you don't have to worry about those who are against you. You don't have to worry about those who are for you. You don't have to be concerned because in your yet praise, you can go to the Lord and you can know that he is your light and he is your salvation. You can praise him radically regardless and in spite of the enemies that may be encamped all around you. You may have enemies all around you. You may have have people who are talking about you. You may have people who are talking about you behind your back. It doesn't even matter because when you know things are going on, all you got to do is go and dig deep down within your soul and have a yet praise, have a radical praise for a radical God. Hallelujah. 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 And when you are worried, Sometimes people are worried about being taken care of, maybe in their old age, or maybe during a time right now when you're looking for a job, or maybe uh, different situations have been happening. Maybe you've got had to deal with uh, 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 you, just uncertainty, and you don't know what's going on. Then we're going to start going, and we're going to have a yet praise in Psalms chapter 37. So let's go to Psalms 37, and we're going to be in verse. 23. And this is what our yet praise is going to be. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down for the Lord upholds him with his hand. And here it is, y'all. I have seen, I have been young and now am old, yet I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his descendants or his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful and lends, and his descendants are blessed. This here, this he is ever merciful, that's you, that's me, that's us. We're merciful and we lend because although we've seen things when we were young and we are still young, all of us, We've seen things, but it says that I've seen things when I was young and now I'm older. I'm old. I've, I've seen some things, but I've never seen the righteous forsaken. I've never seen those who call on the name of the Lord to be forsaken. And that's why we can have a yet praise. That's why we can have a radical praise. That's why we can give him everything that we have within us. No matter what is going on in our lives, no matter what we may be dealing with in this moment right now, no matter how you may feel because there's some uncertainty that you've been dealing with, no matter if you feel Feel like you're where you're supposed to be or where you're not. What we do know is that when we have a yet praise, then we can praise the name of the Lord no matter what is going on in our lives. No matter what may be happening, we have a yet praise. That's a radical praise. That's a praise that comes in the toughest times. That's a praise that comes when we're dealing with our roughest moments. That's a praise that wells up within us that we will bless the Lord at all times. Hallelujah. And when we feel overwhelmed, we're going to turn to Psalm 61. Psalm 61 says, Hear my cry, O Lord, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth, I will cry to you when my heart is overwhelmed. Oh my God, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you shall, you have been a shelter for me, a strong tower from the enemy. And I will abide in your tabernacle forever. I will trust 
in the shelter of your wings. And so we can have a yet praise because we know that the Lord is our tabernacle. We know that the Lord, he will hide us in his sanctuary. We know that the Lord, that he is our peace and he is our joy. We know that the Lord, that he is our strength and he is our covering. We know that the Lord, that he is our rock and he is our fortress. We know that the Lord, that he is everything that we need and he's everything that we want and he's everything that we desire so we can have a radical praise that we can go and we can shout from the mountaintops we can go and down in the valley and we can still call on the name of the lord we can call on the name of jesus we can call and say my god you're a good god through the tears my god you're a great god through the worry my god you're a great god through the mess my God, you're a great God through the grieving. My God, you're a great God through the sickness. My God, you're a great God when we're tired. My God, you're a great God. No matter what is going on, you can have a radical praise when you're dealing with sickness and hurts and pains. We were talking uh, my, uh, in, in prayer, we, we heard people are dealing with anxiety and depression. There's so much that's going on. Those are real things that people are dealing with. And sometimes, yes, you can pray it away. Other times you need to go and see a therapist. And in the midst of, regardless of what time it is, you can praise the name of the Lord. Because when you begin to call on God, you begin to dig into the scriptures, your spirit begins to leap. Just as when Mary and Elizabeth met and their spirits leaped because the word of the Lord, we can praise the name of the Lord when we get into our word. We can praise the name of the Lord in spite of what's going on through the toughest times. We can praise the Lord. We can have that yet praise. And even if you can't find it within you, call somebody and tell them, I need you to pray with me. I need you to stand with me. Call them, ask them to praise with you. Call them, ask them to sing to you. Call them, ask them to pray with you. Have that yet praise in spite of what you may see, in spite of what you may feel, in spite of what you think you may know. So many times we forget that God is in control. We forget that he's in control. He's in control of everything, everything he's in control. And so because we forget, then we begin to start trying to figure stuff out on ourselves. But when we have that radical praise, when we're going through those times, when we're going through those times, that's when we know we've got to call on the name of the Lord. We've got to get that yet praise within us. Do you have the yet praise when you're going through something? Do you have that yet praise no matter what I may see? I don't see it yet, but I'm going to praise him right now. Do you have that yet praise when you were waiting on your house or you were waiting on that blessing? Did you begin to just praise him in the now in, in, in preparation for where you are going? Do you have that yet praise within your spirit right now? Do you have a yet praise that, oh, I may be in the middle of the worst temptest in my life, but I have a yet praise. Do you have that in you right now? Can you muster it up? If you can't, then go to one of the scriptures. Go to one of the scriptures and get a yet praise within your soul. Hallelujah. I told you there was like three areas I wanted to talk about, and I'm going to talk about the other two really quick. The one was having a yet praise during your toughest time. Another time to have that radical praise. It's like you could be walking down the street, or you could be in the store, minding your own business, doing your own thing, and whoo, you get a quickening, and you hear the just a, 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 a something that God has done for you or you you think about the goodness of Jesus there's a saying people say oh when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me my soul cries out hallelujah thank you God for saving me that may be something that people just say it may be something that people just let go over them but when you think about the goodness of Jesus and what he has done he's died on the cross 
for you. That will cause me to have a yet praise as I'm walking down the street and I'm just thinking of the goodness of Jesus. As I'm going to work and I'm thinking, God, I thank you for saving me from an accident. When I'm going in the stores and I think about the time where bullets were flying and I could have been hurt, I could have been killed, but I have a yet praise within me. I begin to dance and I begin to shout. I begin to lift my hands. When I'm in church and we're just praising the Lord and I get a thought of how good God is. I get a yet praise in my spirit and I begin to want to bless the name of the Lord and bless him at all times. Praise will well up within me. Have a radical praise and bless the Lord. Oh my soul. Hallelujah. So there are times when we just get a radical praise out of nowhere. We're walking, we're going, whoop, we just get that praise. We get a quickening. Sometimes people may get goosebumps or may get a chill or just have a thought like, wow, God, you, you really have kept me. Wow, God, you really saved me. Wow, you took me, the most horrible person, because of all of the things that I've done or all of the things that I thought or all of the things that my job made me do or all of the things that I did to my kids or all of the things that I did to my spouse or all of the things that I thought about people or how horrible I was to someone or how I treated someone. Oh, but when I think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me. My soul cries out, hallelujah, glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, that you grabbed a hold of me. I thank you, God, that you pulled me and snatched me out of the pit of hell. I thank you, God, that somebody prayed for me. I thank you, God, that someone had me on their mind and took the time and prayed for me. Some of the songs that we used to sing when we were kids or even back in the day, some of those songs can well up within your soul like the song Shabbat, hallelujah, Barak, praise the Lord, Shabbat. Anything can well up within you and that's a radical praise. It's a yet praise when you're going through something or it could just be a regular old day. And the third thing I wanted to talk to you about how we can get a radical praise or have a radical praise is in those times when everything is great, everything is good, you're having a high time, you're having a high moment and you just get so excited about Jesus. You get so excited about the Lord. You thank God our Father for being who he is in our lives. Hallelujah. And we begin to get excited. Some of us, me, are very demonstrative when we have that yet praise, when we have that radical praise. Others of us, we may not show it on the outside, but our insides are doing the same thing that some of us are doing on the outside. And I am so excited because God is a God that we can have a radical praise with. God is not as, uh, intimidated by us praising him. God is not upset when you want to begin to worship him. God is just eating it up and he loves it when we praise him for who he is because he is a good God, because he is a great God, because he is an awesome God and he deserves all of our praise. He deserves all of our worship. He deserves all of our honor because he is God. He's a radical God who deserves radical praise. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Excuse me, bless the name of the Lord. Before I end, <clears throat> I have several scriptures that I wanna read and I think that it's very important for you to hear. Uh, Psalm 66 starts off saying, make a joyful noise, make a joyful shout to God all the earth. Sing out the honor of his name. Make his praises glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your works through the greatness of your power. Your enemies shall submit themselves to you. All the earth shall worship you and sing praises to you. They shall sing praises to your name, O oh God. Come and see the works of God. He is awesome in his doing towards the sons of men. He turned the sea into dry land and he went through the river on foot 
there he will rejoice in him. He rules by his power forever. His eyes observe the nations. Do not let the rebellious exalt themselves. Oh, bless our God, you people, and make the voice of his praise to be heard. Who keeps our soul among the living and does not allow our foot to be moved? For you, oh God, have tested us. You have refined us as silver is refined. You brought us into the net. You laid affliction on our backs. You have caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but you brought us out to rich fulfillment. I will go into your house with burnt offerings. I will pay my vows, which my lips have uttered. My mouth has spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer you burnt offerings of fat animals with the sweet aroma of rams. I will offer bulls with goats. Come and hear all who fear God, and I will declare what he has done for my soul. I cried to him with my mouth and he was extolled with my tongue. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear, but certainly God has heard me. He has attended to my voice of prayer. Blessed be God who has not turned away my prayer nor his mercy from me. And going back to where we started, why are you downcast, oh my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? And then he gives a hint to his soul. He says, hope in God, for I shall yet praise him. I shall yet praise him. I shall yet praise him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God, for it is pleasant and praise is beautiful. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise the Lord in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, all the sun and the moon. Praise him, you stars of light. Praise him, you heavens of earth and you waters above the earth. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty ferments. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the lute and the harp. Praise him with the tremble and the dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and flutes. Praise him the loud sing with loud cymbals. Praise him with clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. So I beckon you today to have a radical praise, no matter what may be going on in your lives. Have that yet praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I want to I wanna talk to those of you who have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and don't truly understand all that he has done for you. I want to, uh, I want to uh, uh, ask that you would accept him to come into your heart and pray this prayer with me. Just repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I acknowledge that I have sinned. Please forgive me. I believe that Jesus came, died on the cross, and rose on the third day to give me life, to heal my soul, and make me whole. And by faith, 
I choose to receive Jesus in my heart as my personal Lord and Savior. So that when I think about Jesus and all that he has done for me, I want to radically praise him so my soul can cry hallelujah and I can thank you God for saving me. In Jesus name, amen, amen, and amen. Well, if you pray that prayer with us on today, all of heaven is rejoicing. All of heaven is excited. They're giving a radical praise to Jesus Christ. They're giving a radical praise to God, our Father, because you have now come into the family and you're a brother or sister with us in Christ. And you can give a yet praise to God, no matter what you are going through, no matter what you are dealing with, you can give that radical praise to God. And we now are praising God with you because you now have a seat in heaven. Your name is now written in the Lamb's book of life. You've been snatched out of the pit of hell and we are so excited for you. And so we want to hear from you, whether you can uh, leave a message on Facebook or you can leave a message um, in, in Zoom while we're on here or on YouTube, you can call us or email us. You can somehow reach out to us and let us know that you have just accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. If you don't know how or you don't want to leave a comment now, you can go on our website and you can find contact information for us. Uh, and we want to talk with you. We want to minister to you. We want to help you grow in your relationship with the Lord. We also want to pray with you. We also want to uh, be there for you and, and definitely talk with you through anything that's going on in your life. Um, so, if you want to stay on Zoom for prayer, or if you want to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, please, please stay on with us. Uh, on Facebook or on YouTube, you can leave a comment or reach out to us and we will pray with you through those means. So I want to pray with you now, everyone, so that we can close out of service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. We just thank you now for today. God, we thank you, Lord God, for speaking and, and showing us, Lord God, that we can from the depths of our soul, from the depths of our spirit, pull on that yet praise, that radical praise that can well up within us whenever we may be going through different things, Lord God, whether it's trials or tribulations or whether we're having high moments in our lives, God. I pray that we do not forget you, Father God, because just like we learned last week, God, we can do nothing apart from you because you're an awesome God. You're a radical God, Lord God, and the secret to us being serving an awesome God is to have a, a radical praise. And so right now, Father God, I pray over each and every person under the sound of my voice, Lord God, I pray that you watch over them. I pray that you keep them. I pray, Father God, that you bless them. I pray that you be with them. I pray that you protect them. I plead the blood of Jesus over them now, Father God. I pray, God, that you bless their going and their coming, Lord God. I pray you protect all of their things, their possessions, their friends. Lord God, those who have things that they have been praying for, I pray that you answer those prayers. Lord, I pray over those who have um, been lost. They don't know you. God, that they come into a knowledge of who you are. Lord God, I pray, Lord, that you give us a yet praise that remind us of the things, Lord God, that we can praise you about. Remind us of the times, Lord God, when we could have lost our life, or we could have lost a limb, or we could have lost an organ. Remind us of the times, Lord God, when we could have 
um, lost something, Lord God. Remind us, Lord God, of the times that you protected us and that you've kept us. Lord God, that we will bless the Lord at all times and that praise will continually be in our mouths. Father God, I pray over your people. Father God, that you cover them and keep them. Watch over them, Father God. Lord, be their, Je their God. Be their Jehovah. Oh, hallelujah, God. I pray that you minister to them right now right where they are, Father God. Oh, Lord God. Yes, I pray now, God, that your word would well up with inside of them, Lord God, and that it would take root, Lord God, that it would take root and it would be on fertile ground, that it wouldn't be like seed that was planted on dry ground, Lord God, that got washed up, Lord God, that got uh, taken away and eaten, Lord God, but that is word that would take root in fertile ground and grow, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that you have your way. We bless you, God. We honor you, Lord, and we praise you. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Well, go in peace and enjoy the favor of the Lord. And as Minister Tom gets ready to put up the contact information, if there's any information that you, any way that you want to contact us, then you will have it on the slide that is coming up so that you're able to see how to contact us. Also, you can go to our website in any other way. We love you and have a blessed, blessed, blessed day in Jesus name. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah.